college income supplements, workforce training, this amounts to an unprecedented dependency on government welfare, right? Government welfare and far left progressive planning schemes. I just think of it as go woke, go broke. Nice and simple. Go woke, go broke. It's redistribution on a grand scale. Take it from Peter and pay to Paul. We used to laugh at all that. When workfare was introduced by Clinton and Gingrich 25 years ago, we thought this kind of left wing wish list stuff would never come to pass again. Workfare worked. The economy flourished. But this is no workfare. Nothing in this bill is workfare, and there's no work. In fact, if you take the R out of work, you have woke. No, I got to put an E in there. I get it. But it still works. It's still woke. As our next guest, the great Art Laffer, has pointed out many times, redistribution damages both sides. Those who succeed, it penalized, and those who depend on welfare lose all initiative to work. The economy suffers, and speaking of economics, suffering. All right, hang on to your hats. The list of tax hikes being hidden by the tax committees, though starting to leak out today, is truly unbelievable. Now, of course, we knew the centerpiece policies, corporate taxes, international taxes, capital gains taxes, individual taxes, small business taxes, estate taxes. All that stuff's been out there for quite a while. That's bad enough. A tax assault on business and investment, which, of course, will cripple the economy, it will also generate higher inflation. And it'll be paid for mainly by the blue collar middle class workforce. But wait, there's much more. The fun is just beginning. In a desperate revenue search, the Senate Finance Committee is looking at a stock buyback tax, a corporate alternative minimum tax, a tax on so called high executive salaries. That's